Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting haul from Jet Pens, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is my actual this is actually my first order from Jet Pens and I am so excited. So um, my order was shipped, like, honestly, I think the next day after I ordered it, and then it came like that. So, I think I ordered it last Thursday, and it just came today on Tuesday because mail was not running yesterday for Columbus Day. So, super, super quick shipping, um, which I love. They actually came from... California and I'm in Michigan so yeah super quick shipping but let's just get into it because I cannot wait any longer okay no more bubble wrap um I do appreciate that though because um it means everything was like carefully shipped here which I love um, okay, so the first thing, few things actually, I purchased these Uniball Jetstream refills for the Hobonichi pen. So the Hobonichi pen comes with black, red, and blue. I purchased an extra green in 0 0.5, which is what, you know what? I think the Uniball is in 0 0.38, so I think I messed up on that, um, but that's okay. <laughs> and then I bought a 0 0.7 refill for all of the colors. So there's, I won't be able to use all four colors at once, um, but I think I really want a green instead of either the red or the blue. So I don't know, I just grabbed a few of those to play around with. Um, We'll save those for last. I did go ahead and pick up two of these Energel Klenas. I did have a pink one, um, but I just see so many people talking about these pens that I needed to try them out again. So they're in 0 0.5 and this one is in a black ink. So let's test these out. I have been super excited to test these out. Okay. So we'll try this one first. Ooh. That writes beautifully and it wrote like immediately out of the package. This one, um, I figured I would really like to keep the ink in because it's a blue-black ink, which you will see um, I'm actually kind of starting to get into. So let's see. Yes. Okay, there was like a slight skipping there. But I think it might just have been a kink. I kind of like this brown too. So yeah, those are the two pens I picked up. And then I also picked up two refills. Um, I don't know if I got the right ones. Um, but one is a 0 0.5 and one is a 0 0.7. They are needle tip, but I'm seeing that they're roller pen which I don't know if that is correct for these and of course everything is in Japanese so I wouldn't know uh, but it looks I don't know yeah I don't know I guess we'll see if I got the right refills that's the only gripe I have with jet pens is it's kind of hard to know like what pen refills are for what pen but I just may be a newbie at that. Um, next, I did pick up this, which is 
one of the things that actually made me place my order, I wanted to try out this Versa Magic. It's a chalk ink in midnight black. I heard that this ink works really great with the um, Hobonichi. Ooh. I just like the way that looks. Um, I heard this works really good with the Hobonichi paper. So, yeah, we will be testing that out. I got one for now in case I don't like it. Um, but if I do, I will be buying more. And then another item I picked up. This one was kind of like last minute and I did not need this at all. But this is a brass traveler's notebook clip it was kind of pricey I think it was like $18 but she is heavy duty um and let me show you why I bought this so me and my friend Yvette purchased the I'm gonna butcher the name it's like Ramoon cover from Hobonichi for my weeks and she quickly noticed that they don't lay flat and I knew that was going to bother me. So they don't lay flat. So what I decided to do, I seen a lot of people use this clip. And I think that that is going to work for me. So what I plan on doing when I'm working in this journal. Ooh. Yeah, it's just like clipping that like that. Or I can, of course, do it at the bottom. And the good thing about this clip, even though I just like completely butchered that corner there, is that it's like very smooth. So I don't think it's going to mess up my paper. And then when I'm not using it, I can just clip it on there. Or I can like clip it to keep my page. So yeah. Totally not needed and unnecessary, but something that I think is going to help with the ease of use with this um, Hobonichi Weeks. So, yeah, and plus it's, like, really cute. I see it in a lot of, like, Instagram pictures, and um, let me tell you, it's definitely worth the 18 I would say, because this is, like, super heavy duty. Of course, I don't know about, like, tarnishing or anything like that, but, yeah. From first impressions, I'm happy I picked that up. And it came, like, really cute. So, yeah. That is why I purchased that. And then the real reason we're here, the big purchase I made in this, um, the big purchase item, the big ticketed items, I am going to get into and have wanted to for a little while now, but fountain pens so I am super excited I picked up two of my very first Twisby fountain pens and then I picked up two inks so both of them are Waterman um and literally guys the reason I purchased Twisby's and Waterman is all because of Helen over at the Coffee Monsters Co I watched her um fountain pen collection video and she said that the Twisby was a very good starter pen because of how you fill it. Um, so I'm super excited and she also had talked about the Waterman Intense Black Ink so immediately of course I'm just gonna go off of her recommendations. She just seems like a pro. So yeah this is the Intense Black Ink we will, I think we're going to try and fill the pens in this video. I am working on a time crunch here, but, um, yeah, let's see. The second ink I picked up is the Mysterious Blue ink. So, uh, like I said earlier, I'm kind of getting, like, the itch to use, like, a blue-black ink for my main planning. So, before, I was a strictly, like, black ink type of girl, but um, I'm actually, like, really drawn to this black blue. I just think it's, like, really pretty. 
and blue is like one of my favorite colors so yeah um I do want to kind of I hope that this blue is kind of similar to this because I really like um how this Pentel Energel right or Pentel Klena writes so okay those were the inks and now we can get into which fountain pens I purchased so I'm super excited for this I have not opened these yet uh, let's see here so there's the little user manual Perfect. I have watched a few videos, um, but again, I'm a beginner, so I'm actually like kind of really scared about this. So it says no alcohol. I don't even know how to clean fountain pens. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Um, so this is the Twisby Eco, and I got it in black, and then let me find my... Um, receipt to see what nib size I got. Okay, so this one is in the medium nib, I guess. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, it doesn't say on here. Um, but I'm super excited about this. I have been seeing Twisbees everywhere. So I purchased the black, as you may have guessed, to fill with the Intense Black Waterman. Um, and by design, you probably can guess what color I picked up for my second Twisbee. This one, actually, you might not be able to guess. I'm actually super excited about this one. Well, I'm actually really excited about all of them, or both of them. I don't know if I can open this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one was definitely a splurge item. Um, I was just, after watching so many videos, I was very interested to try out a diamond 580 so I know I probably should have waited to see if I even like um, fountain pens but what really got me you guys was this color look at how beautiful and this is like really official and like luxury luxurious <clears throat> this is like opening an apple pencil or an apple product what <laughs> oh, okay. oh my goodness so yeah it's definitely got more weight than the eco um but I was actually kind of expecting it to be a little heavier but I'm actually glad it's not so this is the diamond 580 compared to the twisby eco um, the price difference is a bit, let's see, I paid, um, if I can remember, I think this was around 30 and this was around 60 so this is definitely like half the price of this one, um, but I fell in love with this color. So this is the Peruvian blue, or Prussian, Prussian blue. Um, it's something like that, but look at how beautiful. Okay, I don't want to break her. Oh my goodness. So definitely a pretty pen. I don't know if I should cap it. <laughs> and it just, it feels, ooh, there's like nibs in here or grooves. So I'm actually a little like nervous. I don't, I don't know. This, these are my first ever like I said well okay that's actually false so these actually are not my first ever fountain pens I will show you what I have so I did purchase a couple um disposable so this is the platinum preppy 
And then the only other one I have. Well, okay, that's a lie too. Hold on. Okay, so as far as um fountain pens go, I have the Pilot Varsity. So this is a disposable. It was super cheap. And let me move this out of the way. I'll show you how they write. So this is the Pilot Varsity. And I think this is like a 1.0. It's like a bold point. Um, but yeah, so this is disposable. And then we have the Platinum Preppy, which this one's definitely more fine. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Um, but this, again, is disposable. And then this was actually my very first one I purchased, which is from um, Villa Beautiful. And it is refillable, but it's with cartridges. So, Yeah, they're very scratchy, um, but that just might be a fountain pen thing. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I definitely wanted to start out my collection of like more collectible ones with Twisby. So I'm super excited to test these out, fill them up. So the reason Helen said that these were really good starters, and I guess we have a little bit of time. Um, let me go get probably some toilet paper um I know it can get messy so I think we're gonna try and fill up this eco with the intense black so I will be right back okay so I got I grabbed the toilet paper um because I know this can get pretty messy and then I seen somewhere I guess that's more of like with shimmer inks oof that's dark okay so we're just gonna go for it <laughs> So I guess, yeah, so this just twists, which is really nice. And then you're supposed to just insert this into the ink. Maybe I'm not doing this right. <laughs> What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Maybe I'm not sticking it in far enough. Yep, there it goes. So, okay, I guess you're supposed to stick the entire pen in, and then once you get to the top, push it all out because you need to get it as full as possible. And there's still pretty a pretty big gap, so Ooh, I'm hitting the bottom. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to get this like super full, but I think that's as full as we're gonna get it. And then That's super intense. Ooh. Look at how black that is. Oh my goodness. So this doesn't look very, um, I think I may have done something wrong. If you have a Twisby Definitely let me know if I did something wrong. I will be watching more videos. Um, but is that supposed to look like that? Or did I do something wrong? I also don't want to get ink on me. Which I know might be impossible to avoid. Okay. Let's cap this. For now, I guess that is good. And 
Alrighty, so we have in Waterman's Intense Black, and there are bubbles in there, so I'm starting to think I did do something wrong. And also, as a mom of young kids, it kind of scares me that I have ink bottles laying around, but we'll definitely have to put those up somewhere. Okay, so I filled up one. I don't think I'm going to do this one today. <laughs> Um, just because, like I said, I am on a time crunch. But let's write for the first time together with this Twisby Eco in medium point. Which I hope I don't um, regret not getting the fine. It was between the medium or the fine. So right off the bat, this feels really good in the hand. Okay, so this writes so beautifully. I love this. Um, my first impressions are that it writes super smooth. It's actually like super easy to fill, um, regardless of my possible user um, malfunctions. I don't know. Um, but I do like this pen. It writes really smooth. I would be interested in trying out the fine nib. Okay, so I did get the Diamond 580 in fine. So you know what? Screw the time crunch. Let's fill up the Diamond 580 as well. I mean, it's only right, right? Um, plus, I'm kind of dying to see this mysterious blue ink and how it looks in person. Ooh, it's really pretty. Okay. So here goes nothing. I feel like um this pen I found a really pretty turquoise on um, line and I think that the turquoise might go better with this pen. But, um, we're filling it up with this. I'll just, um, clean it out if I find a better one. This does look, like, super blue. Which I know it's a blue ink, but was kind of hoping it to be more blue black. But I'm not gonna judge it until I see it on the paper. Okay, let's. And again, I know it's probably not as full as it could be, but this is my first time using these pens. Again, if you are a pro or you um, have used a Twisby before and you have any pointers or tips, definitely let me know. Um, I do like to cap my pens, so I'm going to cap it. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so thoughts on the Diamond 580. Well, okay, let's go to the ink first. So the ink is definitely more blue than I would have hoped. Um, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this is definitely more of like a blue black, which I was really hoping for with the mysterious blue ink. Um, but again, not a deal breaker. I will say the Diamond 580 and fine. I know I purchased two separate nib sizes. Uh, that was on purpose. I did want to try both sizes out. Um, however, I know there's um, some differences between how these two may perform, even if they do have the same nib size. 
Um, so I'm not going to touch on that. But what I will say is um, the fine nib in this is super scratchy. This one wrote like way more smooth. Although I do like how this one looks more than this one. Um, I've kind of grown away from using like such a thick point. And this does like look that's like super thick. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm definitely excited to play around with these some more. I do think I'm going to order a more teal ink for this pen. And I guess we're going to find out how to clean fountain pens. Um, but for now, they are fine. And I'm super excited, like I said, to play around with them some more. And, yeah, to use... Um, I'm excited to have them, honestly, like, I am excited to start my fountain pen collection, and I already have my eyes on a couple more, uh, but yeah, so that is all that I have for you guys today, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one, bye for now, guys.